for the holidays hard to do when you don't have a home. And a new report showing more and more Americans are now falling behind on their mortgages, largely tied to the unemployment crisis in this country, which, of course, comes from uh, an investment and trade system that is designed to suck money out of our country, which, of course, eliminates jobs. Uh, states in the Northeast seeing a sharp rise in third quarter mortgage delinquency rates. New York, New Jersey and Connecticut among those experiencing the largest jump in late payments. Uh, luckily, there are people stepping to try to help some homeowners falling behind on payments uh, and getting the runaround from the banks who frequently can't even prove that they own the mortgage uh, and are in the process of working with our Congress to try to eliminate property rights altogether, uh, in the view of many in this country. Joining us now, uh, foreclosure attorneys Matt Widener and Mark Stopa. This weekend, they held a free seminar to educate struggling homeowners uh, in Florida. It's a pleasure to have you here, Matt. Uh, what sort of things did you hear this weekend? The same stories we hear every single day in our offices, Dylan, and that is consumers are not getting a fair shake by the banks and institutions, and the government agencies are not stepping up to help them. You know, every single day we sit in our offices and we hear stories of consumers who work their butts off every day with their banks to try and get modifications, who try and solve this problem. And the fact of the matter is the banks just aren't working with them. If you were to look, Mark, uh, at the, the justice system in this country uh, and the ability for a rape or a murderer to get away with rape or murder because of a technical failure in, in the collection of evidence or any other aspect uh, of a criminal trial? Does it, do you find it uh, entertaining or tragic, I suppose, that while a murderer can walk for a technical failure, a technical failure in the foreclosure process is no reason not to kick somebody out of their house? You know, murderers and rapists get these lengthy trials with all sorts of due process. And, and the court system in Florida with these rocket dockets and senior judges, all too often they're quickie hearings. So these homeowners who certainly aren't criminals are getting thrown out of their homes on a rapid and systemic basis uh, with very little due process. That's why they need lawyers. Matt, what can you tell us about the property rights issue and the MERS, the, this, this system that they use to, to sort of churn through all of this and did the degree to which uh, property rights are actually in question in this country. You know, I'm ter terrified, Dylan. Uh, it's been a, an evolving process. Attorneys like Mark and I for years have been screaming about the fundamental and systemic problems that exist, and now it's finally bubbled its way up into Congress, and now Congress is admitting the fact that we've got real problems. I'd encourage everyone to pay attention to the Congressional Oversight Panel and the new November report that was just issued last week, where Congress is now taking note of the systemic problems that exist within the mortgage market, and in fact, the entire uh, residential real estate market. They uh, draw a spectrum. And on one end, they say it's potentially just uh, technical problems. But on the other end of the spe spectrum, we're talking about systemic and catastrophic failures of the real estate market, the entire country, and in fact, the financial and economic system of this country. That's because we have abrogated our property rights in this country. One of the fundamental principles that this country was based upon was a clear and open, stable system of property ownerships. And that has been thrown uh, in the garbage in this systemized uh, securitization process. I mean, I mean, Mark, aren't property rights the very foundation of capitalism? If there, is, if there is no property, if property is the possession of the legislators and the banks to dole out and uh, to take away and give away as they see fit, uh, doesn't that fundamentally undermine our ability to function as a free and independent country of people? I think we've seen that over the last several years with how the, how the economy has functioned. This all started all these problems with the housing bubble and now the crash. And until we can, until people in positions of authority can fix the problems with loan modifications and the, the mortgage crisis, then we're going to continue to have problems throughout our economy. And that's why lawyers such as Matt and I are out there trying to make people realize that they should defend their foreclosure case, that they have rights, and that they can create change in the system if they fight for it. But isn't the problem with this, Matt? So let's say I, I'm a, I'm a home, homeowner. Uh, I, I lost my job. Again, so many of the foreclosures now are not uh, willy-nilly subprime. Oh, they borrowed more house than they should have. They never should have bought that house. All this nonsense. Not that that's nonsense, but that that was cleared through in 2007. It's going to be 2011. The reason the foreclosure crisis is getting worse is because the unemployment and jobless crisis in this country continues to explode. If somebody does not have a job and now is delayed on their house payments and is go trying to get into a modification, how can they afford to hire a lawyer to defend themselves? In other words, are the people that are most vulnerable here the least able to actually get the help they would need? 
Dylan, you know, this system of laws that we have in this country, our courts are open and accessible to people, whether they have an attorney or not. And part of the message that we had this weekend and the message to the American people is whether you think you can afford an attorney or not, you get into the courtroom and you fight for your home. It's your home and you fight to keep it. Obviously, if you can afford the minimal fees that most good consumer attorneys charge, pay those fees. But if you can't, at a minimum, get into that courtroom and fight for yourself. And the fight ultimately is show, they, they show me the note and, and and also reconcile the, the dual track where they foreclose on one side and while they claim to be modifying on the other? Absolutely, Dylan. Let's keep in mind that all these banks and institutions have received billions of dollars of your money and my money and that homeowner's money that they're foreclosing on. And so they may not have a right to be foreclosing while they're taking billions of dollars of our money. The message is homeowners need to wake up and understand that this is a war we're in. The banks and these institutions are fighting against the American people and our very way of life. And it's time Americans wake up and get in those courtrooms and fight. Here, here. Listen, uh, thank you both for coming on and helping uh, me share this story with the, the people who watch this program. And we look forward to having uh, more conversations with you guys. Uh, kudos on the work that you're doing. Matt Widener, Mark Stopa, uh, uh, working on behalf of the American homeowner. We appreciate it, guys.